Shalom. All right, Shalom. This is Jim S. New Orleans coming at you with another uh, Shabbat lesson. If we always do, uh, we always want to start by giving the infinite honors and in prayers to the Hawa. The Hawa Bahashim, the Hawa Shai Bahashim, the Hawa Bahashim. Double honors once again to the elder apostles of Jim S. Peace and blessings and salutations once again to the hopeful elect, all right, those that follow after the Lamb. Right, and then, you know, in, in particular, this is, this is a lesson that we all we gotta continue to push because we're in the times of the Lord revealing Himself and showing His marvelous works in the heavens. Right, case in point with the so-called UFOs. Right, and there's still more documents coming out. All right, by the Pentagon, and by this government, of them saying they've been knowing about it. All right, they've been knowing about the angels. They've been knowing about all right these so-called UFOs in the presence of, of of this realm, man, going to and fro out of this realm. To, into the heavenly father and doing certain things in this, in this realm man revealing themselves all right <laughs> see the thing about these chariots too man in the times of the end which we are in the end times they're going to be these same terrorists that be talking about these so-called UFOs, but that's going to be the salvation of the nation of Israel. They're going to be a terror unto Babylon, man. They're going to be a terror unto you Edomites. Because one thing about I know about you Edomites over the years, we see them as they are, as the angels. But when you see them, you see them as demons and shit. Because you ain't right, man. All right? You see them as certain other things. But the righteous, the righteous see them as, or they, we know that they're angels, man. Right? And they come to and fro out the heavens constructing and doing things for the Heavenly Father that he wants done and recording the very acts of all men, okay? Go ahead, uh. It's the book of Isaiah, chapter 47, and verse 3. Thy nakedness shall be uncovered. Whose nakedness? The nakedness of, the, first and foremost, the so-called white man. Your nakedness is being uncovered, right? Case in point, it's being uncovered through the mouthpiece of the Lord, which is the prophets, man. The Lord put the Spirit on us to reveal you, reveal who you are through the Scriptures. Then you got the Lord uh, uh, putting the spirit on what we know as uh, whistleblowers, which you call them quacks and all type of uh, uh, people that, that reveal your secrets of the, the, the Illuminati's, the different under, underlinked groups that you got, the different the different inventions you got you got uh, in play, man. Go ahead. It reads, Thy shame shall be seen. Mm -hmm. I will take vengeance. And I will not meet thee as a man. And, and, and the reason why I'm saying that, he got it. He got it right here. The brother holding it. In Isaiah 63, 65. All right, 65. It's 66. 66 and 15. It's locked. All right. Read that part again. It reads. I will take vengeance, and I will not meet thee as a man. So you so-called white people, man, you need to live it up, man. All right. You need to. You need to go cash in all your fucking credit cards. Like we always say, go smoke the biggest pound of pile of coke you can get to, man. Right? You need to go do it like Tony Montana. It's just wild out because this is the end for you, man. When the Lord, when the Lord comes back with those angels, man, they're gonna put a holy foot deep off in your ass, man. All right? And right along with the men of the Lord, when God will we get that power, man? You gonna, hey, I'm gonna say this, man. For the first, the first few minutes. I'm gonna leap over. I'm gonna leap over Esau to get to you two third niggas, man. All right? You niggas that done got over on the men of the Lord that fired us, that done shit to us, man. You black, black bald headed ass women that the fucked over brothers gonna get you too, man. That's right. Okay. But go back to the back to all right. Back to what we were talking about, man. Go ahead. Man, this is the day of Moab, right? This bitch. Go ahead, back in. <laughs> yeah, this is shit. God, this uh Isaiah forty-seven and three again. Oh, and three. Thy nakedness shall be uncovered, yea. Thy shame shall be seen. Yeah. I will take vengeance, yeah. and I will not meet thee as a man. So when your child comes back, he says he's going to take vengeance. But the, throw the cherry on top, he's not going to meet you as a man. Meaning, we all will go into this. Going back 2,000 years ago, all right, you had the opportunity that was given to you. Because the, the, the Lord really wanted you, man. And I believe, I totally believe, I believe it was Pontius Pilate who he told that too, man. You know, I got, I got the, your life in charge in my hand. He's like, man, look, if I wanted to, man, I can lead you. Send Lindsay in, lead the angels. 
you know, to get it popping, man. You ain't right. running shit. But back then, they had the opportunity that was given to them to do what? Bruise the Lord. This is a bruise, pierce him, hang him on the, on the cross. Do all manner, spit on him, do all manner of things they wanted to be done to him, man. But that's why he says, when I come back to take vengeance this time, I'm not going to meet you as a man. Meaning he's coming back in a, he coming back as an angelic force, a force right. to be reckoned with, man. All right? He's coming back with the, with the opportunity to be from another uh, another realm. He's going to be he going to be a man and a man with spiritual powers, man. It's going to really it's going to really you know, he's going to show you. He's going to chastise the wicked, man, when he come back. Go ahead. Okay. Give me that, that vengeance. Give me that vengeance. This this is what he, this is what they meant by it too, man. Right, this is the book of Isaiah chapter 66 verse 15. It says, "For behold, the Lord will come with fire." And with his chariots, like a whirlwind. Let it go again. Those chariots are what? <clears throat> A.K.A. What we know as the, the clouds of heaven. A.K.A. The chariots of Israel. A.K.A. On a, on a simpler note, in this world, it, it, it's classified as what? UFOs, man. Those are the chariots of the Lord. The whirlwinds is another word too. Whirlwinds, man. Go ahead. It says, to render his anger with fury. And his rebuke with flames of fire. So he's going to exercise his fear, his anger, by coming with those chariots, man, to for utter destruction. Those chariots are coming back with two and two totally things only: for salvation to the nation of Israel, the elect in the one third, and to ultimately destroy the wicked on this side, man. Well, it says, "For by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh." Huh? And the slain of the Lord shall be many. And the slain of the Lord shall be many. So the, when he comes back, they don't teach you this in church. The Lord's going to be killing people, man. All right? Yes. The Lord's going to be killing mass numbers of people of all nations, even two-thirds. Okay? And we can we can point it out in the scriptures. Case in point, Revelation, the first chapter in the, in the seventh verse. When we say, all eyes shall see him, even those that pierce him. Why, he, why did he even mention those people that pierce him? Two thousand years ago, why is he worried about him? Because he got it on his mind to get it, ass, get the ass to come back, man. The mark for debt, man. That's right. So you running around here, you niggas? Oh, I'm a cop. I'm, a, I'm in the army. Nigga, you might be the ones that fucked the, you know, messed the Lord up back then, man. And he got you niggas preserved for that day, so he can, you can smell his cologne, man. It's gonna be, it's gonna be <laughs> frankincense and myrrh. You gonna see you niggas face to face, man. All right. To see how well your bones hold up. For, for a couple of seconds. It ain't gonna hold up either, man. We're gonna do you niggas something nasty. This nigga, he, he, he's all in our shit. Go ahead, brother. I got one for real. I got one too. I got the same thing. You ain't got it. Can't trust a nigga with grown doctors. Go ahead, man. It's the book of Isaiah, chapter 63, verse 1. It says, Who is this that coming from Edom? Uh oh. With dyed garments from Basra. Here it go. It says, Who is this coming from Edom? With God garments from Basra, all right, and that's the Lord. He's he's the one that's gonna be coming from Edom because it's tell you how he he gonna come. Go ahead, I'm getting ahead of myself. God, it says this that is glorious in his apparel. But when he first when he first appeared, when he first gonna come to Babylon, he's gonna come in in, in, in a glorious apparel. It means he's gonna be clean. He's gonna have a white garment on, decked out. All right, go on, go ahead. It says traveling in the greatness of his strength. How is gonna be how is the Lord gonna be traveling in the greatness of his strength? That's the so-called UFOs. That's what he's gonna be traveling. He don't need them, but it's just something, it's just something to have. And you know, he the Lord is dramatic, man. He don't need to he don't need to travel to and fro through the heavens and the terror, but he just do it, man. You know how Jake Jake extra Jake make a you know fashion statement. Entrance, he's gonna make an entrance too, man. When he comes from the east. To the west, he's gonna make a dramatic entrance, man. You remember on Independence Day, how them, how them clouds rolled up, thunder strikes and shit? He's gonna come like that too. Horns gonna be blowing shit. They tell you in the scriptures that men's hearts gonna fill him at the presence of the Lord. Things, all this shit you see, the bills gonna shake, cars and shit gonna shake at his presence, man. Go ahead. Uh, it says, I that speak in righteousness, mighty to save. Uh -huh. Wherefore art, art thou red in thine apparel? So why then, Lord? Why all of a sudden you red in your apparel now, man? He's going to be stomping people out. All right? He's going to be kicking ass and taking names, man. Go ahead. It says, and thy garments like him that treaded in the wine fed. And we went into we went to this a while back. The wine, the wine fed, the wine press. 
that was that was a that was an ancient uh, custom that people did to crush grapes, to make wine and you know juice and stuff like that. That's that's just, that, that's the same type of way the Lord you know envisioned him him he doing you people man, stomping you out like the wine fat man. Go ahead. It's verse three. It says, "I have tried the wine press alone, and of the people that was not with me, mm -hmm. for I will tread them in my anger." He's gonna and, tread you in his anger, man. Go ahead. And trample them in my fury, and their blood shall be sprinkled upon my garments, and I will stain all my raiment. Yeah, he's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna get, he's gonna get bloodier than your your favorite, your favorite horror movie, man. I don't give a fuck. All oh, you can put all them niggas together, all right? You can make a, you can make a trilogy movie with all them niggas, man. Jason, uh, Freddy, Chucky, and whatever else, nigga, they ain't gonna add up to what the Lord gonna do on that day to you people, man. Truth to tell you, we, we, we can go into it too in Revelation. They don't have to get it, but it tell you that the, the, the blood's gonna be down there 800 miles and almost five feet deep, man. That's a lot of killing. That's that's mass, you talking about mass, mass murder, that's a mass, that's past mass murder, man. The Lord's gonna, the Lord's gonna trample and run through a lot of you people like homecoming paper, man. Genocide. You know how you come out there with a homecoming and football team, bust out that bit. That's how the love will come running through you people like bowling balls, man. There ain't nobody going to be able to stop it. Your bullets ain't going to stop it. Your tanks, your helicopters, your Humvees, and fighter jets ain't going to be able to do a goddamn thing. You're going to really see a lot of with our eyes. You're going to witness Independence Day in, in the flesh, man. You're going to see that, that big chariot. You're going to see these fighter jets <sighs> fighting, shooting. Ain't nothing gonna do, man. But when the Lord give me uh second Andrew 13. Oh, what's up? Oh, you got it? He got it right here. Whoever wanna get it. You still got more? Uh, that yeah. This is uh second Ezra 13. I'm gonna start at verse 5. And after this I beheld and lo, there was gathered together a multitude of men out of number from the four winds of heaven. And it's that's, that's a that's straight way to see. From that movie, man. This, the wish the, the the producer of Independence Day said he got he got his uh he got his ideas from the Bible, man. It's telling you how the Lord gonna come back. Go ahead. To subdue the man that came Read out. Read that part over for me, though. Read that part over. And after this I beheld and lo, there was gathered together a multitude of men. A multitude of men are going into those the different armies, Pakistan, China, North Korea, America, Russia. Russia. All them armies gonna get in there and fight the jets and try to fight the Lord, man, when he come back. That's in the Bible right here. Go ahead. Out of number from the four winds of heaven. So the four winds of heaven meaning they're gonna be from all around the world. When World War happened, World War Three happens, what, what's gonna be happening? Nations from all around the world are gonna be doing what? Fighting. They're gonna stop in the midst of their midst of fighting. And when they see the, when they see the Lord comes come from out of the east, they're gonna stop fighting. They're gonna fear for a minute, and then they're gonna the Lord gonna make him make them fight him. Okay. Same thing happened in the movie, man. You know, it was the, it was the Lord to put the spirit on that damn dude to, to make the Independence Day, all right? And ain't gonna be no Will Smith open the castle up, punching punching the angel, man. See, you've been hitting people too long, Will Smith. You gonna get some, somebody? <laughs> somebody gonna? It's time. It's time for you to pay pay your dues, man. You punching the angel? You punching Chris Rock, bitch ass? You know? Hey, but somebody is you know hitting his wife. Yes, but you can't hit that nigga that's having an entanglement with your woman, man. They got her swinging from the ceiling fans. You can't hit, her, hit him, though. You know, go ahead, brother. To subdue the man that came out of the sea. To subdue the man that came out of the sea. Go ahead. Verse 6. But I beheld and lo, he had graved himself a great mountain. That great mountain is that same ship that was from Independence Day, but bigger. All right, go ahead. And flew up upon it. He flew upon it. Go ahead. But I would have seen the region or place where out the hill was graven and I could not. So Ezra was trying to say, I was trying to see the ending, the ending point, the the the, uh, the, uh, the end of that the end of that uh that ship, man. I forgot what they call it, they call it the vanishing Vanish. point. I was trying to see the vanishing point where that ship ended at, he could not. I show you it's it's gonna be that big. That ship is gonna that ship is gonna be bigger than America, man, as a whole. It's gonna it's gonna could it tell you in the scripture that when the Lord come back. The sun gonna be blocked out, man. All things it's gonna it's gonna have that big shadow over over everything, man. Hey, bring it up. It's uh Revelations chapter one and verse seven. Behold, he cometh with clouds. With the same clouds we're going into, man. Go ahead. 
in every uh show scene. Them, them devils were cutting up in them, in them times though. Them, oh, they were cut. They were having their way with Jake, man. That's why they didn't the time the judgment, man. We ain't gonna have no fucking mercy on you, devils too, in the kingdom, man. Right. Yo, fuck you, walking. You walking with your back hunched up. We gonna make a new back for you. Go ahead. <laughs> Revelation 1 and 7. Yes. Yeah, Book of Revelation chapter 1, verse 7. Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him. Well, how, how every eye gonna see him unless the ship is that humongous, man? That big. Cause you're gonna you're gonna be on one e region of the, of the world. You're gonna be this is gonna be you're televised, gonna man. We told you before we made a video about it. These very acts of the Lord coming back is gonna be televised, just like we always going to. Just like you had all the angles of 9/11 from from the south side of the building, and the north side, the east side. But guess what? When the, when the Lord come back and then the destruction of America, you won't have you won't have helicopters. Oh my God! Look at this thing. I can't see. You no, know, they're gonna be tripping out, man. Go ahead. And they also which pierced him. There you go. That's the ones I was going into it. Show you that this is a part of reincarnation. Because how did the, the ones that pierced the Lord, when he come back, when they said, every eye shall see him, and he brought he broke up, even those that pierced him, that meaning they ain't back today. Right. The same people, the same soldiers that pierced the Lord, beat him up, punched on him and shit, they back they, they received judgment. Preferably from him. They ain't for us to do it. He's gonna he gonna get them get them 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 all them devils, man. Go ahead. It reads, and all kindreds of the earth shall well because of him. What? Even so, a month. Ah, niggas gonna be running this shit. Oh my god! Oh my god! <coughs> falling. You know you even might like falling down and shit while you're running. <laughs> Just stupid ass. You know. You gonna have, you gonna have Keisha? Girl, what the fuck? That's me. That shit strong, you got me. I can see it. You in for it, girl? <laughs> Tripping. People gonna bug out, man. You are gonna find out that the guys on the corner was telling the truth the whole time, man. He telling you that the chairs of the Lord coming back, all right? Which is preferably Yahweh Shai. He coming back with the angels, all right? You gonna find out that what we what we've been saying the whole time has been true, very much true, man. Go ahead. You got the thirteen. Keep going. Verse 8. And after this I beheld, and lo, all they which were gathered together to subdue him were so afraid and yet thirst by Yeah, they were so afraid, spooking out, because they have never seen, they have never been in these times, seen such a such a presence from a a, a, a a large object like that come into this realm, man. You know, you see the videos of the, the chariots from afar, a little bit around dot, fighter jets and shit, and different pictures. Only this time you gonna and then like I said this, I'm gonna say this too, because we we said it before, man. You gonna start seeing chairs. This bitch is gonna sit over Canal Street. This is a big ass ship. They ain't gonna be able to cut it all. Cut to another channel, Ron. Go back to the weather. No, nigga, you want to you want to explain that, man. Everybody now, hey, we got we gonna have videos, nigga. It's like it ain't moving. It's gonna be like uh that, that movie with the Johannesburg shit. District nine. It's gonna be like District Nine, man. They're gonna be sitting there. You want to explain that, Esau? You should be Explain that, man. What is that? What are those? You know how niggas are saying that? What are those? You want to explain that, man? Ain't gonna lie. Ain't to say. Go ahead, brother. In that movie District 9, the ship blew a horn, and you saw for miles all the skyscrapers, their windows were blasting, glass was getting on everybody. I think they got another movie called... Uh, not Red Dawn, there's another Dawn. I forgot the name of this shit though. Red State? Yeah, Red State. They show you now how the, how the, the, those ram homes were blowing, man, hurting people here. All right? Go ahead, uh, keep on reading. Verse 9. And lo, as he saw the violence of the multitude that came, he neither lifted up his hand, nor held sword, nor any instrument of war. But only I saw that he sent out of his mouth as it had been a blast of fire. Yeah, because of what? It's true to tell you how the chariots have windows, all right? And preferably how a shot chariot has, has a, like on independent, has a, has a bottom door that opens up and what comes out of it? A 
blast of, of, of fire and tempest, man. La concentrated laser beams, man. Okay? It's over millions and millions of degrees of Fahrenheit. That's going to, I'm talking about straight evaporate a lot of you people. A lot of you niggas going to get zapped by the Lord, man. And the angels, they're going to tear up these buildings and shit, flip these cars. Shit going to get blown down the street, man. You never seen that. No, I don't give a fuck. You, you can go you can go your ass on the Ukraine. Look how tore up them buildings are. It's going to be far worse than that, man. Go ahead. Y'all about to sit here and it showed you the power those ladies are going to uh, war the world with Tom Cruise. Right. You are totally evaporating the, the, you the, get. the bodies, man. Pew, pew, pew. And they didn't never run out either. Just <clears throat> kept coming back to back. Yeah, it's going, hey, man, you people beginning to get hit on all sides. While that's going on, the Lord's going to wake up the, the, the creatures of the sea, man. Leviathan going to right, gonna show himself. And you got, right. you got uh, Bohemian too. Right? That's what the pastors ain't telling you, man. That's in the scriptures. That's in the scriptures, man. Go ahead. Real quick, this uh, 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 10. But the day of Yahweh Bashemi Hawashai will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise. That's right. And the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burnt up. Yeah. You know? You know, go ahead. Yeah, it says they're going to be burnt up, man. All of the works of this place are going to melt with fervent heat. Yeah, it's a transformer, man. It had to be. It's fucking the second time. You're awesome, brother. Thank you. You're fucking bullshit, man. This is, this, is, this, is, this is why this shit gotta go, man. You got a nigga running around in a fucking uh, uh, Madea fucking dress on, you know, and he's a nigga, man. That's gonna be burnt up with fervent heat, man. Yeah. That's part of the elements that's gonna burn. That's right, man. This shit gotta go, man. Go ahead, huh? It's, uh, Wisdom of Solomon. 18 and 16 and 15 it says thine almighty word leap down from heaven out of thy royal throne as a fierce man of war that's what he gonna do too man i was shy and like that that little that little skit that then jakes did in the house and like actually hey most of his time like eight times then he gave him that okay oh, yeah, 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 gone man yeah, yeah. give that that not yeah, how was Shaq gonna leap off that throne, man? To come make war with these fucking devils, man, to take the crowns of these kings out here. Alright? Come on, man, this motherfucker here, man. Wait. What type of shit this is that? You don't pull up on them fucking men like that, man. That's a broad in the front. Yeah, what's it? Hey, they can get it too. It's as wicked too. Yeah, as wicked as the men. You do that, you do that in that day. You gonna, 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 gonna flip that bitch, man. Right there. Get somebody to help. Go ahead. It says, "Done Almighty Word leap down." There you go. From heaven, out of thy royal throne. Yeah, he's gonna get busy, man. As a fierce man of war, he know because he's known as the, as the Word too. And tell you that's just talking about Yahweh Shai, man. Go ahead. He's the Almighty Word. As a fierce man of war, and to the midst of a land of destruction. Yeah. Because what's going to be happening when the Lord come back? Full-blown World War Three, man. Right. I'm talking actively going on. All right? That's why I tell you, when you read the Apocrypha, it tell you that. That's why we, we're going to be getting a little, we give you a little quick summary. The, the 13 that he's reading is in the midst of, it's kind of like in the midst of that war. They're going to be fighting. And like I say, we tell you all the time, this war going to be, it's going to be quick, man. It's going to be quick. It's going to be ground wars. You know the Airplanes, helicopters, the then it's gonna get straight. Then we how shot them, they're gonna they're gonna be still getting it on, and they're gonna all stop from fighting each other to fight him. Right along with them missiles get to fly because everything's gonna be happening simultaneously, man. As the missiles being shot, that's why the scripture says we go into it all the time. The righteous shall scarcely be saved. We're gonna see the missiles actually go up in the in the atmosphere, man. Thousands of stems, like little smoke stems going up. But before that happens, what's gonna happen? The Lord's gonna get us out of here, man. According to the scriptures, not according to my own heart, or what I, what I want to come out here and say, but according to the scriptures, man. Wait up. And bought thine unfeigned commandment as a sharp sword. Right. And standing up filled all things with death. 
And that's what they're going to do. That's what we've been reading. Isaiah 66 and 15. The, uh, uh, Isaiah, the 30, 36th chapter. And we're reading right here in the uh, second address, man. He's going to fill all things with debt. Why, why Pastor Pochop and Deacon, Deacon Rib Tips ain't telling y'all this, man? The Lord coming back to the murder shit, man. The kill shit, man. There's a man of war. Dude, fuck who you got to your to your top five. Then what the all them niggas name? Uh, uh your, your top your top uh serial killers, them niggas don't hold no weight to your house shot, man. They don't hold no weight to the most high for what they finna do, man. The most high kill niggas every day, B. Yeah. Every day. He killed everybody. Yeah, in the old, yeah, in the old, he killed everybody but eight people in the old world. He killed everybody every ever day. Died, that's what I ever say. That's what I say. Yeah. Every yes. day. Every day, man. <laughs> Niggas die every day, B. From the most high, man. Oh. Getting smoked, especially a wicked ass nigga that ain't, that ain't right. Lord, the Lord take pleasure in smoking you, man. But a lot of niggas need to be smoked. All right? Go ahead. Finish it out, huh? I got a little more. Okay, you got a little more. Go ahead. It says... And standing filled all things with debt, and it touched the heaven where it stood upon the earth. Yeah, that means it's, you know it's gonna be in this heaven. It's gonna be in this in this right. in this realm, man. In this world, man. The wicked. Yeah. The wicked is in this heaven. Yeah. You have never seen nothing like wow. this. No, you know, it's, it's gonna be far out, out of your whole your whole imagination, man. That's why what it says in um real quick, uh, give me wisdom of Solomon chapter five. And, and, and the point when it's all that's why the scripture says so far beyond that they look for because you're not you hey man a lot of you you dummies out here we talk about the lord coming back you think the lord gonna come back in some fucking uber or something all right a lift on a on a southwest plane nah nigga he coming back in a chariot that's so far that you ain't looking for no quote-unquote you have for the saved people man it's out of this world it's far beyond your imagination man but that's why i tell you when that happens only the saints are gonna be saved, all right? right? Only those who's appointed and written in the book is gonna be saved, man. The rest of you are gonna gonna groan. You're gonna be in anguish. You're gonna you wanna fucking die, man. You're gonna die a, a horrible death. Right? Whether it be the whether it be those those lasers, or ultimately the cherry on top of those missiles, man. You niggas gonna get cooked over here. Okay? You got it real fast, huh? Wisdom of Solomon five and one. You get straight to the point. You get straight okay. to the point. All right, verse two. Then they shall see it. They shall be troubled with terrible fear. Right, us being on the highways and byways teaching. This brings fear on the masses, those who are in the know. Because this is a, it's a large portion of these Edomites, these nations that that that, can, uh, that deal with each other in secret places that know who we are and what we're about, man. All right, they ain't fear because they know when, when the Lord puts the, the men of the Lord on the highways and byways to teach your end. It's coming to your to your uh to your to your kingdom, man. Go ahead. And shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation. Who's gonna bring so much of a, a amazement, man? The chariots of Israel, man. We put a video in there a couple weeks ago. That lady said we were flying in the plane. It was turning on a 90 degree angle. All these different angles that they see a plane can't do that shit, man. You know? Go ahead, huh? So far beyond all that they look for. It's far beyond that you look for. Because like I said, the mass number of these dumb numbskulls over here in America, they're not looking for the Lord to come back like that. They're looking for the Lord to come back on, on a horse back, walking. White man. Yeah, it's a white man, long, long, blonde, pissy hair, <laughs> blue eyes. Yeah, they're gonna be at, they're gonna be at church tomorrow. Uh looking for him, man. They repenting and groaning for anguish of spirit, shall say within themselves, mm -hmm. this was he whom we had sometimes in derision. Yeah, that's the, the different men that's out here preaching so bold of the word. Niggas had us in derision, locked us up, fired us, persecuted us, came up against us, lied on us, man. This is the he that we had sometime in derision, go ahead. And a proverb of reproach. And a proverb of, these niggas call us all type of names and shit, man. These niggas are Muslim. Just preach a man right here. What's up, preacher man? <clears throat> Say we in a cult. We the big T word. Go ahead, man. We fools to count his life madness. They count our lives madness, man. Man, them guys crazy, man. They go out there teaching in, in dresses. Which of these are holy, this is a representation of holy garments, man. Right. That, the, that the men back then wore, man. Well, war. 
So if you're saying we do we doing it, you saying the Lord, what the Lord say? Whatever they say about you, they saying it about me. You know? So that's why nigga, a lot of you niggas are marked, man. Go ahead. And his end to be without honor. Yeah, I'll end it out, out with honor, man. Say if one of us go right now, they're gonna they gonna be happy, man. Go ahead. How is he numbered among the children of Yahweh? And his lot is among the saints. Yeah, because we've done the work. We put the work in. Going on the highways and byways in the rain, sleep, snow. It's about a hundred and what five right now? Well, it's still like it. You know? But we are here, we are here to teach, man. That's what it's about. In season and out of season, man. Rightfully dividing the word. Go ahead. Therefore, have we heard from the way of truth and the light of righteousness. God, that's it. You had something? Okay, go ahead. We're going to get it about to get out of here in a couple of minutes. Uh, this is the book of Isaiah 26 and 20. It says, Come, my people, into thou into thy chambers, and shut thy doors about thee. Hide thyself as it were a little moment until the indignation be overpassed. What are those chambers, man? Those chambers, it says, Hide thyself for a little moment till the indignation be overpassed. Those chambers are talking about the chairs of it. It's like Noah's Ark. Those chambers, those, those chambers are, are those, that's like right, a representation of that. Because the same way you niggas are knocking on them doors of that art, you ain't better knocking on them chambers of the, of the chariots, man. Because that's what's going to be sitting there as a, as a, uh, a COVID for the, for the elect, man. And the indignation is what? All this radiation, this radiation is going to be spread throughout the, the throughout the world, man. When, the, when those missiles get dropped on, on America and, and different other continents, man. Because we always go into this. America is not going to be the only one to get blown to smithereens or kingdom come. It's going to be, first and foremost, man, you fucking rats over there, man, in the land. Now, homeland, you're going, you're going to be, you're going to get it, man. All right? And like, we can say, we can, what is it, Spain? I think the scripture tell you about how Spain, you can gladly say that, man. And many other parts of the damn world going to get, going to get nuked. It's tortious, huh? Yeah, tortious. Yeah, Spain going to get it, man. But that's what we know. Right. Go ahead. Verse twenty-one. It says, "For behold, the Lord cometh out of his place to punish the inhabitants of the earth." Yeah, and we believe that, man. A lot of people are like, like them, like them. Them, them fucking slobs right there, man. They, they sitting there laughing. Shit, is, shit is a joke, man. Cause you out here preaching the Lord in the garment, man. It's funny. But it ain't gonna be funny when the when the when the real pull-up boys come. Angels and your house shot come really pull up on you niggas. You ain't gonna be funny, man. Go ahead. It says, For uh, the Lord cometh out of his place to punish the inhabitants of the earth for their iniquity. The earth also shall disclose her blood and show no more cover her slander. Yeah. There's gonna be a lot of dead and destruction going on, man. All right? That's, that's what's gonna be going on, man. You're gonna see it out the chariots, too. Like the elder been saying, right? Uh, uh, speak about the the elect standing inside of those chambers, looking at the sea as if it was mingled with fire, man. In class, and the reason why we know those chariots going to have windows is because of this. This is our like niggas, pass, niggas passing, looking fucking stupid. Got your got your cameras out. That's all you you gonna get marked, man. Uh, ugly ass bitch, man. Shit funny now. Like I said, shit for hella funny. You know I said? You niggas, you, especially you, you fucking GMO, baby. The Lord is going to kill all of you niggas, man. You just, just, just get ready to come back in the kingdom. I mean, I'm, I'm serious. You metrosexual, homosexual, gelling green ass niggas, you're going to die, man. Fuck it. You're going to die, man. Them like them niggas there, shit always funny to these niggas. That ugly ass pigeon head bitch. You know, shit funny now, man. It ain't gonna be fucking funny when your house shot comes through this bitch, man. Really stepping on shit. We just read the scripture now. That ain't even a real stepper, man. The biggest stepper. The big Don Dollar. He gonna step on you niggas, man, for making mockery of the of the prophets, man. <laughs> shit, all like like Apostle Ramon said. Shit is all a game until it go fucking down, man. Go ahead, I. This in the spirit, brother. Yeah, they. And the beauty of it, we're gonna actually get to see it. There's the things we speak of, we're going to see it. The Lord going to allow us to get vengeance on them, man. Bitch got, bitch got from right there to right here. She got to take the camera out and do like this. You such a, just do your shit openly. But you a fucking coward, man. 
It's like any one of you fucking black ass niggas down here is a coward, man. You can't do, you can't never deal with nobody fucking straight up. That's why we're gonna love, like I said, love with the Lord with the power. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna do what we do, man. We're gonna fucking do what we do with all people. I'm talking about supreme prejudice to you niggas too, man. I'm talking about freaking punish you niggas, man, in that day, man. Right along with the go ahead. I, I'm like I said, I'm just kind of raw right now, man. Niggas are tip me off. Just trying to see if this is what they're doing too. As the cherish preserved in Isaiah 31 and 5, they're gonna be destroyed, man. Yeah. So when we get in those chariots, all right, the law gonna still be fucking this bitch up, man. Them niggas, them niggas not gonna make day two of, 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 of Jacob's trouble. Niggas gonna die hungry, man. She gonna die right in that pink ass. Pink ass outfit she got on, man. That 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 whatever twenty one outfit, rainbow ass two dollar rainbow fucking outfit, man. You gonna die in them shit, man. Go oh, yeah. Oh, ahead. Just... Yeah, you right though. Same thing. Make them laugh. Like then the house of laughter, when the house of mourning. Well, it's gonna the rose gonna fail. The Lord of God of balance. Yeah, I wish I said go unto you that laugh now. Go unto you that laugh now. You gonna cry later. This is Isaiah sixty and eight. It says, "Who are these that fly as a cloud and that's dove to their windows?" So as you look at a dove out the window, all right, the clouds are the angels of the chariots, all right? You, They got windows on them, man. Well, we we gonna see, see the destruction with our eyes. Like the scripture, says, out, we those men, like, like like the scripture says in Revelation, about how we gonna see, we gonna better be in the chariot and see the, see the fire mingle with glass. Nine, Meaning right? we gonna be at such of a height in, in the heavens. So when we look down, we gonna see America on fire and it's gonna look like a sea of glass. Yeah. Cause you know, you ever been around fire from a, like I gotta say, I remember being in the, in the, in the refineries from afar, the smokestacks. It, it, you, you look at it from afar, and we off the river. It looked like it looked like it looked like you can see a, a hint a hint of like white light as the as the fire flicking it, flicking flicking man. Yeah, it looked like water. Like, it looked like a fire mingled with glass, man. That's what I meant to say. You know? Anybody got any more? <laughs> How many you got? You got one? You yeah, got, got one? Real quick. Yeah, we go, we go just it on them three, man. Let's just real quick. The Psalms, yeah, chapter 91, yeah, verse 8. Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Yeah, how are you going to see the reward of the wicked? Through the chariot, man. Through your hour shot. Rewarding them. Destruction, man. That's what they're going to be re rewarded with. Okay? It is what it is, man. We we ready for it. We ready for the Lord to do his, do his, his due diligence, man. Do his work. All right? Any more? Go ahead. Let's go ahead. Right, so Jeremiah 23, verse 19. Behold, a whirlwind of the Lord is going forth in fury. Even a, grie even a grievous whirlwind. It shall fall grievously upon the head of the wicked. It's going to fall grievously on the head of the wicked, man. All right? And that's just how it is, man. Right, and we in them times, man. Like, like we said earlier, the chariots revealing themselves and the Lord doing his marvelous work with them, man. Right? Punishing, punishing the wicked, man. You got more? Yeah, I got more. Verse 20. Mm -hmm. The anger of the Lord shall not return until he have executed. Until and he fully finished, man. Until he fully wiped, wiped this bitch out. Done his, I'm talking about really stomp you people out. According to uh, Isaiah 63, man. He ain't going to stop. Go ahead. And to he have performed the thoughts of his heart. In the latter days, he shall consider it perfect. Yeah. That is what happened. Hey, he's telling you, man. He's right now. Right, because going back to Isaiah 3, he's telling you that the Lord, he been having that, that anger in his heart for 2,000 years, man, to do his, to do his thing, man. It's like, a, it's like a, you know, I don't know if you've ever been mad at somebody, a uh, uh, particular thing, and then finally you get that chance, man. You wig out on a nigga, man. Yeah. You get that, that that moment where you just black out, snap. You snap, man. You 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 punching on him, you grabbing him, you slamming his, slamming his ass. You trying to you trying to wig out, man. The, the Lord gonna the Lord gonna wig out on you devils, man. And, he, and like I say, call all your how about your shot, man, for that, man. That was it. Yeah, man. So you know, with that, we hope that was that a fun and to the point. As we always do, we give all praises, glory, and honors. Double honors once again to the elder apostle of GMS, teaching budget salutation. 